Hey everyone. So while I was out and about today, <clears throat> I ran into a couple from the UK that are traveling the world in one of those uh, conversion camping vans. And so I did a little little interview with them and um, you know I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys haven't done it yet, please hit that like and subscribe button down below and make sure to leave a comment if you can. It really helps beat those algorithms and uh, YouTube really focuses on the interactions that people have with the videos as to how they rank them. After going through the uh, the video footage with these um, these fine people, I, I didn't realize just how bad the wind was that it affected the audio. I'm really, really sorry about the audio people. Um, but, you know, I'm learning every day, you know, I've never never got involved in videography and I don't know all the tricks and tips and everything yet so I'm still growing and learning I do apologize about the sound quality but you know if you can bear with it it's an interesting little video So, all right, tell us who you are. Good morning, we are Chris and Marianne from the channel Thread the Globe. Yes, we are. Just as the breaking news on the phone went off, you hear that? Right. <laughs> that is breaking news. Uh. <laughs> so how long have you guys been living in a van traveling the world? Uh, we moved into this van in 2018 after living the normal life, bringing up kids, <laughs> living in a normal house, normal jobs. Um, and then we had that fish, you know, that slaps you around the face and says, what are you doing with your life, you crazy people? You need to live it, embrace it, take it and love it. Yeah. We, had, we had a midlife crisis. Basically, one of my friends passed away and her best friend had kidney failure. She donated a kidney to her best friend. And the kids, the kids had left home, the house was paid off. We'd always dreamed of traveling. And we just looked at each other and said, we might not be here next year. Let's just do it. Yeah, we worked every day of our working life to save up our holiday and our money yeah. to go on some adventure. Yeah. And we went to the most beautiful places. We're really lucky to be to Borneo and Africa and absolutely loved it. But we then had to go back to work to save up for the next adventure. Yeah. Two weeks a year, three weeks a year, yeah, that's it. <laughs> absolutely. And we realised we were going to work to earn money to buy clothes to work to where to work and to get fuel to drive to work and to buy food yeah. to eat at work. And our kids had left home, we paid our money off and we were just now working to to continue the life. Yeah. So a lot of your adventures I'm, I'm assuming you guys come across some uh, amazing people along the way. Oh, do you know we we travel yeah. to so many different countries. Some of them may not be your, you know, usual holiday destinations like El Salvador or Honduras or you know Nicaragua. Um, and people say, oh, you know, dangerous places. But we we believe and we find that 99.99% of the people on the planet are beautiful, different cultures. And everybody just wants the same thing. A man and woman, they have kids. They want a bit of. They want health, a roof over their head, food, education, security, and it's the same as well. Yeah, we regularly get up. How do you manage to find all the really lovely videos? <laughs> and we say, we don't find them, just everyone's lovely. Uh, sometimes you meet somebody with bad communication skills or somebody who isn't as talkative or as uh, empathetic, but everybody's kind. Everybody just wants to be happy and have a simple Just life. put a big smile on your face and it yeah. normally works. Do you guys have any uh, any stories like uh, maybe the scariest thing that's happened to you on your trip? The scary, the scariest thing that ever happened to me was when we were driving up this road in Georgia, the country Georgia, not the state, and uh, it was a mud track. It went on for miles up this mountain. Waterfalls coming over the road, and it dropped there, single track, two wheel drive van, that deep in mud. Yeah, it was it was it was nuts. You actually held your breath. <laughs> Yeah, Chris tends to do all the editing, all the filming, all the kind of stuff, and I love driving. So this old girl is 16 years old, needs to be nice now. Um, yeah, she loves to go off road and have a little crazy adventure. Although the scary, yeah, the scariest time I ever, I went scuba diving at a lake in, in El Salvador, in uh, 
uh, in the Pango Lake, and I was 18 meters down, and my my air exploded. I had no air. Your primary went, and <laughs> that, was... that was I saw the, I saw the end. It yeah. was that close, but luckily yeah. I managed to share hers. <laughs> yeah, fortunately we trained with a very good school, a school school in Borneo, yeah. and uh, they taught us exactly what to do in an emergency. So I would always yeah. urge anyone plan for the worst, and everything else is a bonus. So, obviously you guys uh, put together some money, but do you have any other ways of supporting yourself while you're doing this? So primarily, we started our travels. We sold everything, but we kept the house because the house was paid off. There's no furniture in it, we sold it all. But we rented the house and that started our travels. And then it was our son that told us to start a YouTube channel with no experience. And now actually we do earn uh, enough money from YouTube and the ads and you know, sponsored content uh, and we sell t-shirts. And we sell t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be able to keep the travels, to keep the travels going. So if we can do it as a middle aged couple with no video experience, well, any, anybody can do it. Anyone can do it. And you guys' website is? It's treadtheglobe.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Awesome. <laughs> uh, anybody you want to say hey to? beautiful people in the world just keep being beautiful and stay positive because there's so much love out there and so much friendship yeah and if you, there's something you want to do don't put it off because you never know what the future holds embrace the moment live for today absolutely so during the time of the pandemic the, the initial lockdown we spent 95 days in a car park in istanbul and we decided to do like a prison shot and we actually struck off the days uh, like you would in a prison, but we're delighted to say that the entire community, we're based in Old Town, Istanbul, the entire community um, wrapped themselves around us and asked us if we needed any food, if we needed anything. I got a message on Instagram to say, I'm a doctor, I speak fluent English. If you get sick or if you're in trouble or if you're concerned, message me. Here is my number. I will make sure you're okay, but please don't be scared. We're all in this together. This is a global situation and we're all going through this together. We ended up spending 18 months in Turkey and it was one of the most generous and beautiful and friendliest nations we've ever visited. So That's awesome. it was it was just heartwarming, literally. Absolutely. So on a side note, we had a bit of a discussion about uh, spirituality and these people have had amazing experiences in life. Now, they are not, as far as I know, they don't have an active spiritual practice, but we were talking about how their life seems to have become effortless, right? These people are happy and they'll go places and sometimes like everything that they need is provided in life, right? So one of my other videos that I did um, was talking about effortless living and I did an article on the Facebook group about Wu Wei, which means to do without doing. And, uh, you know, so we're sitting here having this conversation. They're telling me all these amazing stories. And they didn't really want those, um, those stories to be repeated. I don't blame them. I mean, that's, it's, you know, they don't, they're not trying not to focus on other things. They're, they're worried about their, you know, their, their normal life as they have it. But one of the uh, main factors to their, this life that they have, this effortless living is, one, they're happy and positive every day. They don't really dwell on anything negative. They expect life to be good, and it just is. It even goes so far as to uh, provide for them in ways that are just absolutely amazing, like you know, people picking up their tab at a restaurant randomly in a place they've never been to, um, like people reaching out to them when they got stuck in another country and offering them services, help, food, um, medical if they need it in a foreign country. So uh, they've embodied what I would consider effortless living or wu even if they're not uh, practitioners of any particular practice. And that just goes to show how powerful the mind is and um, how you can enter into the flow of life if you just relax and stay positive.